make peasants, they literally cost 100. And if you want, you don't even need to, but if you want, you can actually give them armor and plates to take down the outpost faster. And you are good. You are good, you know. You are Gucci. And the game would be over already. But he didn't do that. He was focused so hard on the map control, on the, on the Eisen main base. Now he's focusing kind of on the map control. I don't know if it's not too late. Um, he did not make any Rohirrim arches all game long. He did not make any, any peasants all game long beside the early game. And... That's normally how you play against the Isengard. When you see many pikes on the field, all you need to do is like go for peasants, spam peasants, take down those pikes, or, or Rohirrim archers to deal with the pikes and uh, get the map control. Because a good Rohan always should be getting the map control against the Isengard, you know. Uh, but in 2019, and this game is from 2008, so it's 11 years old, right? This replay. And I think it's amazing how they are actually playing. Considering that this was 11 years old and he, nice micro here from Isengard player You could see that with the Lords he's tr he was able to you know deny any damage income from the ants Treebeard was able to dodge the attacks and he was canceling the pin already and nowadays We have still people in 2019 missing the pins like crazy and yeah, he was Probably one of the best players on and he uh, J uh, JRND. I mean he's using the name uh, resignation um, he is also a BFME expert. I mean, he's not active anymore, unfortunately. I think I think Arvan is still active, but it's like Arvan is a guy who's just playing his own game. You know, he's not being in a community. He's not joining Discord group. He's just hosting one versus one, always pre-picking Rohan, and that's that's his game style. You know, and as long as he's enjoying that, I'm fine with that. We're gonna. I mean, Isengard is still far away from from ants i mean from Balrog, because he picked rain as well and that cost six power points he picked land as well so he picked all the power points up uh, be beside devastation i think he has all the power points be beside devastation that's why he's still far far away normally the way should be when you play rohan uh, when you play eisen against rohan the, your way should be war chant industry rain into Balrog, or if you want to, you can actually go Palantir, get Palantir for your works if you want to do some. And okay, let's say you go for rain uh, for land as well, but there is no way, there is no reason for you to go for fuel the fires and rain at the same time before Balrog, at least. Anyways, and special summon, but combos are here, they are really strong now, uh, and they will end up killing them. The more units get killed, the more ranked they will become. And fireball is also a great tool here. And yeah, let's see. I mean, they are still a bit healing up to, at the at the well, and it's it's something it's kind of random, by the way. If you are at the well, you will still end up dying when you are burning because the damage you are taking over time is higher than the healing you receive over time when you are being close to the well. If you didn't know that, and Rohan is all about losing map control. His AOD should be ready soon once again. So this is. The time when he actually can regain some map control by taking down the outpost. GC has been used. Nice pike micro here from the Isengard's player. Uh, bad micro here from the horses. But elves are joining the fights to deal with to deal with the pikes. Pikes are not dealing super increased dam uh, super incredible damage to uh, to war um, to glorious char glorious charged Rohirrim. And I really can talk, guys. I'm really sorry about it. And elves are doing great job, by the way. Elves are the most highly ranged archer units in battle for middle earth one if you didn't know that but they are not the strongest archers the strongest archers in battle for middle earth one i mean talking about strongest it's like one versus one so one unit one elf again one eight, one ranger from gonzo ranger they're gonna win in a 1v1 we tried it out already they are really stronger than elves even if elves have armor and armor is an upgrade you can't purchase on rangers so Ranger, you can actually only purchase Fire Arrow and Banner. And with that, in a one versus one, they are stronger than Elves. But Elves are more effective against uh, other units. But in the meantime, we got AOD summon here uh, on the Isengard. And we're gonna focus on that. And yeah, I mean, that's something you need to keep in your mind. And also, the, the pure strange, pure power, Rangers are better. But it's like the Elves, they have more durability. 
They are also not that weak against Cavalry units because you can actually switch your weapons with them. This is this one, by the way. You even purchase the Forge Plates on them. That's That doesn't make any sense. You really don't need to. You can see that Glowing Swords 